for that my brother and my mom work out. It is called Birds and Based, and it is in Crystal Lake, Illinois. So we're going to start off here with all the fish. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different fish. I can show you every single fish tank that's in here. Uh, right now it's Christmas Eve. And so this one I can actually turn on. These are reptiles in the middle here. We'll get to them at the end. But there's saltwater stuff. I do not know where the light is for this. Uh, my mom is doing nighttime feeding. Uh, the store has been closed most of the day today. So some of these are tanks are a little bit on the dirtier side. Uh, they just haven't been cleaned today because again it's Christmas Eve. Uh, otherwise you usually clean them every day. So we're going to start off. I'll show you each of these tanks. Some have really cool stuff. Some are just so-so. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Whole bunch of shrimp in it. I mean a whole bunch of different shrimp. So every time I come in here it makes me want to do a shrimp tank. This is just really cool. Take a step back. See some little tetras in here. Bee gobies, bunch of moss balls. And here we have some mallies, balloon mallies. Uh, if you guys ever seen flag fish? They're pretty cool. Don't see them in every store. Blind eye cave touches. On here. Again, Pilates, some mallies, some tetras, hatchet fish. So that one we already showed. Uh, Tetris again. On top here we have the cool bumblebee uh, platies. I've had those before. Some cool swords. Not too much in this one. We'll skip that for now. These are some of my favorite swords. They're just so cool. That's the name of them there. Pohoka. I probably butchered that. Uh, good size beta. I think it's just a veil tail. Good size beta though in there. This is their glow fish tank. So you have all the different glow tetras and the danios. You even have the sharks. Pretty cool. And some of the decorations. Look at those decorations too. Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking tank. Sorry about the glare too. But uh, so let's see, guppies, some glass cats, I'm kinda hiding there. Those guys are always cool. Flatties. Oh man, look at that beta. That's a cool looking beta. Veil tail. Very good looking veil tail. Let's see what type of Grammys are these so I don't mess it up. Yeah, Golden Honey Grammys. Which of course are dwarf type. That one looks nervous. Uh, tetras. Rainbow fish. Those are feather fin rainbows. Good size platies. Prego. Definitely pregnant about the pop. I see a bunch more platies. Some barbs in there, a bunch of quarry cats, more tetras, some of the coolest mallies you'll find, the, uh, the sail fins, good size. More tetras and platies, a lot of these tanks have tetras or platies in them. More tetras, platies, and rainbow fish. We're gonna kind of move this along a bit here. I see Danios, some barbs. Nothing too exciting that one. 
Lots of Felix hanging stuff for the beautiful beard on the back there. More looking swords though. This tank's pretty cool. So you have your little fiddler crabs, uh, lobster, or the crayfish is what they are. And then white crayfish. Look how cool that guy is. 18 bucks. And we also have some frogs. Guppies and platies. On the other side of here is the bigger fish. We'll get to them in a minute or so. Here, cool rainbow fish. And the uh, the sucker, as I feel like to call them, the pleco. Cool play in the background there. You guys are all looking for some food. These are uh, the Mallies again. Beta. Uh, Rainbow's Platies. These guys are cool. I almost want to buy some of them. Red and white sword tails. And there's also some tiger flatties there. Might want, I might actually buy a couple of them and add them to my tank. A uh, bunch of guppies. I already had too many of those though for me. Uh, beautiful flatties here. Oh, I'm sorry, those are mallies, not, not flatties. Mixing up my lab bears. Here is their tank of female betas along with a whole bunch of other fish. Bunch of uh, these are platies. And some white clouds, we've had those before. Bunch of guppies. There are some beautiful ones in here though. And then the long thin placos in the back there, the albino placos. Some of the smaller tetras. Or, sorry, those are not touches, those are Razboras. Harley Quinn Razboras. More quarries. More white clouds. And some mallies. Bunch of Pallades. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Sire. Uh, bunch more Tetras. Black skirts, mostly. And some smaller guys in here. Uh, blood fin tetras, those are always cool. Alright, now we're gonna move. Like I said some of the tanks I don't know how to turn on the lights for. Uh, this is their monster tank. I think it's uh, 180. Something like that. At one point they had 180 gallon, I think it was, or 200 gallon. And I think it ended up cracking and breaking everywhere on them. I can sort of see there's some big fish in here. I really wish I had a light, but... I don't think I can turn on... Let's see, there we go. There's my flash on. Turn that back off because I'm kind of freaking them out a bit, but... Yeah, those are cool. See, that is just a bunch of guppies that the one store worker is breeding. Uh, that's why it says not for sale. I was thinking about putting some type of grammy in my tank. I might get rid of some of my guppies and put in some grammys. Uh, maybe like these golden grammys or the the blue grammys here, or maybe some dwarf grammys, which we'll get to in a moment here. Really like these rainbow fish too. The red rainbows, so beautiful. A little crib. I was put one of them in my tank. Just not get a pair because the pair would end up killing everyone uh, when they go to breed. The paradise fish. There we go, ghost. Or, did I say ghost? Or... Uh, I meant to say knife, they're not ghost. 
bunch of barbs. Look at that guy. The back. That one's really cool. Real focus. You know, Bino Golden, I think is what that is. Something like that. It's really cool. Now we're going to get into the more bigger fish. Uh, so we got some parrots there. And we have some severums. Uh, come on. Yeah, these guys are always cool. That glare is really bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, Python and Galluses. Very, very cool. Some good sized angels. Look at this beauty. Let's see. That's a big one. More Grammy, so I also could get a few of these pearls. They do like to be in groups, though. Groups, though. The butterfly fish. The different uh, African cichlids. A lot of people do like them. I was thinking about maybe getting one of these guys, the Albino Paradise. I might actually end up get, taking one of them home with me today. Uh, let's see the angels too here. Always liked Angel. So did my, so does my mom. And the Powder Blue Dwarf Grammys and some smaller angels here. Let's see, Seikos I'm not so good with names of, so I know some of these, yeah, Yellow Labs, Plecos, look at these cute little guys. Let's see, those are Riccardi, I think, it's, I think that one's correct on them. Not the best with Seikos by any means. Uh, Firemouth, some of them I know, some I don't. Green Severum, more Firemouths. Uh, more Severums, so I believe it's a pothole. Catfish. They do have names on all of these. Let's see. And the Dennisani Barbs, which are always cool. I believe they get pretty good size. And some Rainbow Fish. Look at that big old Pleco. Let's see. That is a Goldie Pleco. I believe that's who that is. 400 bucks. Expensive Pleco. So you got some convicts in here. Some more Severums, Firemouth. Uh, Diamond. Oh my gosh. Jewel. Jewel, not Firemouth. Jewel. So I'm not very good with the cichlids as much. Never had a cichlid tank, I don't think. Except for Angels. Angel fish again. Crazy on these angels. Radiation killifish. Never heard even heard of that one. Which is back there, I believe. There those should be them. They kind of betas, that's really cool. Man, they expensive. More angels. Behind me is the reptiles. I'm trying not to step too far back and end up destroying their display. Not be good. Uh, little convicts, how cute they are. Let's see, uh, should be those blue polar convicts. Oscars, a lot of people's favorite fish. I've always liked them. My dad used to have some in a 60 or 75 gallon tank, something like that. I think he had two of them, good sized ones, a long time ago, like 10 years ago. 
Always cool fish. Whole bunch of cichlids here. Say cheese. Or spaz out a bit. That works too. Oh, glare is very bad here. Alright, go over to reptiles. Uh, see, not too much happening over here. They're all kind of hiding as I just turned on the lights before, well, as we started this video. A uh, bunch of different tarantulas, millipedes, and stuff are in these guys. There you go. The Emperor Scorpion. 80 bucks for him. Looks like a good size one in there. And below, there's just more scorpion, or not scorpions, uh, tarantulas. Let's see, crested gecko is supposed to be in here somewhere. They might be tiny little guys. They actually breed them in the back, some of them. So there's different bugs in these. Here's their awesome bearded dragon tank. Loving that heat. Uh, there we sort of are. And baby beardies. Well, smaller baby beardies. The other ones are still babies as well, of course. I think it's pretty sweet, too. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, let's see, we got some little geckos in here. See the butt of them? Yep, there he is. My phone is not liking the uh, lights in here. Ah, uh, there's a bigger crusty. Other ones we couldn't even find. I have a whole bunch of snakes in all these. Racks. I uh, will not show any of them because I don't know what's in any of them. But they do have different ball pythons, milk snakes, uh, a bunch of different snakes and stuff. We'll move on here. I'll show you guys the other animal parts and then the non animal parts of the store as well. So now we have goldfish, they're live plants. So I don't know, do not know how to turn on these lights, so it's kind of dark. There is a frog room. Again, don't know how to turn the light. I'm sorry. Salt water. These are all salt water tanks here. I'm gonna turn on my flash real fast. So you guys can see. These are all different frogs and other reptiles. I'll show you this. How cool that is. You want just the flash, it looks pretty sweet. And I don't want to freak out any of the animals here either. So frogs. Yep, there he is. There's the big guy. And they also have some different plants and stuff for him. Fruit flies. Hi Isaac. Different plants for the for the uh, frogs and stuff that were in there. And here is my favorite part, which is betas. Again, I don't know how to turn this light, sadly. But like any other store though, they keep most of their betas in little uh, cups here. Until you buy them. Uh, really wish I could show this guy here. Yeah, I am so tempted to buy him. Uh, it's not the best picture, but he's 30 bucks. I get half off. And then here's another one, Black Samurais. They always have really cool betas. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted to. So tempted to buy him. It's going to be about 15 bucks for me. Alright, so that 
Oh, then in here is where my mom is, but there's birds in here. I don't really, I can't really go in here at the moment. She's doing their cleaning and feeding right now. All the bird cages, they do a bunch of bird sales in here. You got fish stuff, uh, dog treats, some cool tanks. I like that thing too, the Aquatop PCs. Bunch of bunch of fish things here. Ooh, ooh, I might actually end up buying one of these as well. That's cool. Uh, seahorses. Oh, those are sweet too. 14 bucks. Again, I get about half off on them. I get half off of everything since my brother and mom work here. Best part of having family that works at a small pet store. Get half off of stuff. Some fish food on this side, a bunch more on the other side. Different filters, filter pads, all that good stuff. Hopefully it's not making you all sick. The movement here. Whole bunch of different fish things. Their biggest sales are fish and birds. So if you guys are ever in Illinois, in the Crystal Lake area, highly recommend checking them out. A whole bunch of more food and chemicals and stuff. And the people that work here are pretty knowledgeable on everything as well. Some people are a bit newer here, but some of them have been here for years. I uh, know whole bunch of stuff, like pretty much anything you would ever want to know. And that's why I always buy, start up my tanks. It's a safe start. The other side here is more fish stuff. All the fake plants, uh, biorb stuff they recently got in here. This stuff is pretty, it's not the cheapest though. I mean, it's biorb, so you can't expect it to be too, too, too cheap. But it's like 17 bucks for two little plants, you know, 12 bucks for this. I mean, they're cool looking though. I'll give them that, but biorb is not a cheap, not cheap. All this stuff is biorb stuff. Pretty expensive, that's cool looking. Looks kinda of dangerous though. Uh, here is more biorb. I don't know how you guys say it, always. Something like that. You know, these aren't too bad. 22 bucks for 25, looks like 25 watt. And you can get cheaper, but I'm sure this will work very well. Biorb stuff is good. Good stuff. Just a little bit expensive. I uh, get into reptiles. Another big thing they do is are snakes. Snakes and like bearded dragons. So anything you want for a reptile they have as well. Pretty much any reptile you could ever want. Crusty Gecko food, all these different flavors. Apparently some of the people that worked here have tried out these different flavors along with the different bugs that they sell as well. Uh, back there is a lot of different things, some reptile stuff on the bottom there and then a whole bunch of very high quality bird food. I believe this is all like human grade or at least most of it is human grade bird food. More reptile stuff. That thing is pretty dang sweet.
These are newer, Pangea. 14 bucks for that. Not too bad. Thing is huge. Thing is huge. 24 inches. A bunch of bird toys. More bird cages. Perches. A bunch of perches. That's the alarm, if you guys heard that. Don't know why it was going off. But it was. Uh, bird food. More bird food. But more bird toys and swings and whatnot. Dark outside. Someone looking in here probably think I'm like robbing the place. Again, they've been closed for hours now. A whole bunch of bird stuff here. And again, that is the name. And that is the town. Crystal Lake, Illinois. Birds and Beasts. Bathroom in the back. Uh, this is where they have their, their tanks. Uh, I guess right now, though, there are there is a glass shortage, so it's harder for them to find tanks at the moment. Uh, places like Petco, Petsmart, and that are not as affected by it because, of course, they're big, giant corporations. Uh, this is for, like, your little mammals, like your guinea pigs, hamsters, all that good stuff. And their side is reptile stuff. And more food. That thing is cool. Sorry about the glare. It's just from the, uh, I can't turn on the overhead lights because people would think we're, the store is open, but we're not. Or it isn't. I don't actually work here. <laughs> uh, there we go. Should that be my next tank? Marina Mermaid tank. <laughs> One gallon. That's a joke, by the way. Uh, Contour 5, Marine Land. They do have a decent amount of reptile tanks still here. Just their fish tanks is a little bit sparse at the moment. Uh, they used to have a whole bunch more, but again, that glass shortage is not able to have everything they want to have right now. Reptile stuff, though, they are doing pretty good on. This is cool. And I'll show you guys it in a moment. They have it actually set up on their on their counter. Uh, Flavor Chi, I've always wanted to try one of those, but always just a bit too expensive for me. Uh, smaller pieces, this is the three gallon one. So I like the five gallon. Flavor Flex, the 32, which is really, really cool. And they're a tank I've wanted since it came out, but again, very expensive. The tank itself is 350 bucks. Tanks I don't always get 50% off on, depends on the tank. Sometimes it's actually more, sometimes it's less. More plants and glowfish stuff. Really cool looking sea dragon, that's 12 bucks. Uh, the silk plants, those are $14. That's not actually too bad for a big plant like that, silk plant. More reptiles. Well, could be reptile or fish. Probably more fish. And more reptile tanks here. Let's see. He is hiding at the moment. There's a monkey tailed skink in here somewhere. Or he's just blending very well. He's usually good size. Yeah, there's his tail. There he is. All right, I'll show you this one more tank. We're gonna turn run this video. There's the bio orb. Good looking beta. And guppy.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Once I can turn this thing off. And once I can end this here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.